Are you a lifelong fan of General Hospital? Are you a new fan who wants to know more about the history of the show? Do you enjoy talking about the show with others? Do you find yourself yelling at the TV? Is your self-care an hour a day in Port Charles? If so, we invite you to join hosts Amanda Kimmel and Shannon Coach at the place where all the hidden conversations take place and secrets are revealed. Meet us at Pier 54, the podcast. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Welcome to... <laughs> So Shannon's lost her voice this weekend. It's going to be so, an interesting podcast. So I'm very sorry. <laughs> but welcome to the September 16th through 20th weekly recap. Yes. <laughs> Amanda's going to talk more than me this week. <laughs> going to make her. I've been saving up all day, though, so get some tea. I like your tea cup. I mm. love Beauty and the Beast. It's a very beautiful Beauty and the Beast cup. It says it's hard to be a beauty when mornings are a beast. Very true. But... Right it. now, it's just all day thing. <laughs> so, yeah, it's really cute. It's one of the only things I actually got it at Disney. Oh, you know, okay. and it's you know, I could totally buy this online or something, but I was like, no, this no, I'll totally it's worth it. Yep. Use. And tea is wonderful and does help the throat. So, yes. So this week was way more exciting than last week. Very much more exciting like than from day one Monday. I was like, I almost text you yep. to say, well, I guess we got our pickup from yep. all that story building they were doing last week. Very first thing I said was, yep, Monday's reaction was redone. Yes. Yes, it was. <laughs> I feel like Lulu's writing's been a lot better lately, the past week or so. Yes. She's been, because that reaction was mm-hmm. so... <laughs> oh, my. It was accurate. I mean, I could right. not even imagine, because she's a grown woman. It's not even like she's in her 20s. You know. Yes. No, she's a grown woman on her boat. Yep. I heard... There was something online that somebody tagged that segment as when the boats are rocking, don't come and rock in. <laughs> and I was like, yes, exactly. Nice. Why is Laura just opening up random doors? But no, she did. She handled it with the appropriate amount of embarrassment, but also the appropriate amount of this is my life. I don't want to hear yep. it. You're on my boat. What are you guys doing here? And Dustin was so sweet. He was. He just, I liked when Curtis asked him how it was hanging. <laughs> I was like, we're dirty minded. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I was not expecting it to be Cassandra on the boat. I don't know how I thought it was going to no. be. No. But that's not who I was. Mm-mm. I thought she was still far away. Yeah. Why would you come back to Port Charles? Why would you just hang out on the boat? I don't know. It, that didn't make any sense to me. I mean, so the boat's supposed to be under renovations, yes. right? Which means there's people on there. There should be crews tearing in and out. It, yeah. Right. So that's not where you go. No. You go to an abandoned place, not something that's under renovations. Like where Shiloh and Dr. What's his name? Yes. I can't remember. They said Cabot. that address a hundred thousand times. Is it Dr. Cabot? Yes. yes. Dr. Cabot and they said the address a million times. Wherever it is. But yeah. you know what I'm talking about. Uh-huh. That abandoned section of town. Yep. That's where you go if you're trying to hide out. Yep. Not the haunted store. No, I agree. So I did have one thought while watching Cassandra. Cassandra. Because, I mean, she's supposed to look like Helena, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Has there ever been, other than when Elizabeth Taylor played Helena Cassidyne, has there ever been a brunette villain? Faith Roscoe was blonde. Cassandra's blonde. Helena's blonde. Blondes have more fun. I guess. <laughs> Ava's blonde. Yeah. Uh-huh. Huh? Yep. Yeah. I don't well, that was a good catch. I now know. we need to do some research on I that. I know. Villains of the show. Yes. Sasha telling Michael the truth. I know. I was really impressed with that. That was good. And I thought that him coming back to her was yes. nice. So after sweet. Willow had inadvertently made no sense Saved into him. the day. You know. But so I do have, it's slightly inappropriate Uh-oh. that I noticed someone posted, and apparently it's a thing. Oh, no. I'm it's scared. on Twitter. Someone calls Michael's little Michael deaf penis. Oh. <laughs> but uses other words. Has anyone ever survived it? <laughs> and I was like, that's horrible. That is horrible. That's a really good point, though. I know. He hasn't had any. Unfortunately, no, has. You know? Hmm. Yep. Yep. Someone had a, it was a, um, it was a game or a giveaway or something. Oh. It was like, name one person who has survived. Oh, my gosh. They're yeah. very creative in inappropriate ways. 
Yep. See, if they think way yes. further outside the box than I do. Mm-hmm. We try to remain PG. Yeah. That's PG thir- that's PG-13. PG-13. Because I did not say what they actually said. Right. Yes. Use your imagination. Agree. Or find it yourself on Twitter. I'm sure it's not that hard Or that. Mm-hmm. How about Julian really tearing into Brad? That was good. He needed to. I was impressed that Julian stayed good mm-hmm. because this week I was super disappointed in Peter. Yeah. Very mad about that. Not, yeah. Not happy. But no, when Julian said I did what had to be done, I was like, he didn't do it. Right. You know? And, okay, Brad needs to learn to solve his own messes. He does. Like, it's not everybody else's responsibility. And we've talked about this with blackmail before. You cannot figure out that you've paid someone off or handled your debt to them or whatever. Because they're going to come back to you and want more, no matter what. And Liesl is a definite example of that. But I'm sure that she told someone else and even if she didn't Nell still knows there's just too many loose ends there you there would is. have to like Julian said kill half of poor Charles and that was funny to keep it under wraps yeah but and that because he was like so who's next Willow you know exactly and I think that got him thinking but yeah like I'm sorry Brad needs to go mm-hmm. as he is right now like it needs to stop. Yes. It's, yeah, it's he old. was reformed for a little while. He was. And he thought he was going to stay that way. Yep. And I understand wanting to protect your child and mm-hmm. that's, you know, how he feels about Wiley now. I get that. But, yeah, you just can't go killing people. And it, you're not even doing it yourself. You can't ask someone else to. Right. It's one thing if you're going to willing to commit the murders yourself, but to ask someone else to get in trouble. Well, in all fairness, he did try. True. She just drastically that failed. Horrible. I'm just going to push her off the boat. Yeah. No. That's not how that works. In that harbor that like a thousand people have survived already. <laughs> Give me a break. Yeah. Not working for you, Brad. No. No, no, no. I did like, I think Julian said it to him, that you either live your life in fear or you live your life for the people you love. Mm-hmm. And I liked that. That was good. That was a good one. Julian had a really good role this week. He did. Too what bad. do you think's gonna happen next? Too bad he's gonna be broken hearted, or he is broken hearted. You knew that was. Gonna I know. Happen. You knew what was gonna I happen. Know. Dramatic pause there, but we I all know. knew that's where it was going. Franco and Kim. But here's the thing. Okay, so Liz had her little flip out. I felt like she was very restrained. Yes, but we just also talked about. Drew Kane a couple weeks ago mm-hmm. on the Poor Charles 411 mm-hmm. and talked about how she basically did the same thing to Sam. She did do the, the same thing to Sam. Yes. And Sam said, he's my husband. And she said, too bad. He doesn't remember you. He wants to be with me. Mm-hmm. So. Karma's a. Mm, yeah. Yeah. I agree. But I still feel I mean, like. It's totally messed up. She. I don't know that I would have just slapped someone. I feel like that would have been a real yeah. cat fight at that point. Yeah. Well, I think that Kim's not... Kim didn't do it in a vindictive way the way that Liz did it to Sam. True. You know... I don't know that that would matter at I the think end that, of the day, though. No, 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 no. But I'm just saying, like, it's not the same. Because no. Kim tried to restrain herself. She was ready to let him walk out that door. And then... She could have tried a little harder, but... I don't disagree. I'm just saying she did try a little bit. She did. In the beginning, she did. But I feel like you could have created more distance there Mm -hmm. than, you know, having him in your apartment alone with you. Maybe just a bit. Not the best idea when you're trying to avoid someone. No, I agree. So what do you think is going to happen, though? Do you think she's going to tell? I know she tried to call Julian. Well, I mean, she was meeting Franco on the pier, so. Yeah. But no, they're obviously leaving. I the no was to Cookie. Sorry. Yeah, I know. Okay. <laughs> I guess they don't know, but I know no, the cat was just gonna jump up and join us. Um, <clears throat> I don't know. Do you think that this is gonna make Julian free again, so it causes issues for Alexis? No, she's only had one date <laughs> with Neil. We can't do that yet. I don't know. No, we can't. Well, he'll need his proper grieving the relationship with Kim. Or do you think he'll just leave? I don't think he's going to leave. No? 
I don't. I really don't. But he's, he's already sold the restaurant. What, what's he going to do? Where's I'm he sure gonna go? Olivia. They haven't signed the paperwork on that yet, have they? Because that was been the holdup for the past couple of days. Yeah. And so I'm sure he can back out, and I'm sure Olivia would let him back out. Or well, maybe they, they have to come to two written agreements on by both parties. <laughs> of course. Technically, if the inspections don't go a certain way, he could back out as if it's still in the contingency period. We'll see. So I think that's what's going to happen. We're in the contingency period still, <laughs> and he's going to have to back look out. at that sales agreement to get back to you. <laughs> Maybe you can ask him for a copy. Yeah, no, I don't think he's going anywhere, though. No. He's, do you agree? I don't know. I think I'm not happy that that's going to happen. You know, I was weird about him and Kim anyway, because they were kind of just like very blah. Yeah. You know, it was sweet because he did change. He was super nice to her, and I feel like they had a good connection. He wanted to be a good person for her, and she wanted to be overdrew for him, but you can't make yourself have those feelings. No. It goes back to what she said to Monica about the mm -hmm. kiss. Mm -hmm. If someone doesn't kiss you that way, right. that relationship doesn't compare to the one that does. No. So it's in his best interest. At least he knows now. Yeah. Then to move. Yeah. Or then get married or whatever. Like how Liz finally used that as a last resort, though. Yeah. After it was all me, me, me. Sorry, I do like Liz. Like, it's just, she's this just is very one of the times. selfish time. when it comes to anything involving men. She's yeah. very selfish. Yeah. We've discussed this before. It's all about her. She can't see anyone else's point of view or even what's in the best interest of other people. It's all just whatever she wants, she wants. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. I don't see that ever changing. I don't know. You mm -hmm. th we thought that it was, or I at least thought that it was with Franco, because I told you, I was like, she does love him that way. No, now we're... <laughs> you were wrong. I, I need to break wrong. it to you, but I you were wrong. wrong. It's okay. Do you have an idea for a podcast but don't know where to start? Download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. Anchor is such an easy way to record and edit a podcast, and you can do it from either your phone or computer. Best part is you don't have to worry about getting it out there. Anchor distributes to many platforms, so you can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, and many more. You can start making money right away without having a minimum number of listeners, too. Anchor really is everything that you need to make a podcast all in one place. So how about Maxie and Lulu talking about her hookup? That, that was so funny. <laughs> I do. I love their relationship. Because she's like, what's the new scoop? Oh, yeah. I just hooked up with them on the boat. Or I like their code. Well, did you have fun? That's not the point. Lulu, that's always the point. <laughs> and I'm like, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> and, yeah. <laughs> always the point. That's funny. Yeah. But that was really funny. Still didn't like that vibe between him and Jocelyn. No. No. I don't know what they're going to do there, but I didn't like it. Because she got googly eyed. Mm hmm. And he was like, I don't think that you deserved an A, but your paper did deserve an A. What does that mean? Yeah. I'm assuming that she. Maybe he doesn't like her. Ew. No, I think it's more like the paper was thrown together. But it was still really good writing because she's a good writer. So he let her So have he it. expected more from her for right. being a new teacher and we're two weeks into school? Mm, I guess so. Okay. Just making sure. But that's not fair. If she wrote an A paper, regardless of the fact if she could write better, she should still get an A paper. You can't give a D student an A because they wrote better than their typical D. I guess. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like just Maybe because she is heard. typically a good... Really good things about her, though. Or maybe the paper you were supposed to, because it wasn't about, like, life experience or he yeah. inspires you or something like that. Maybe he expected her to dig deeper, so she wrote a good paper, but she kept it surface level. Mm. So it was technically a good paper, like, all her grammar and okay. all of that was correct, so he couldn't give it a bad grade, but it didn't he go knows to that the she can... depth that he was expecting. Okay. That's where I'm I'm still not thing. liking it, though. No. 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 And I didn't like her reaction to him. I was, what do you need? What can I do? Whatever. She just seemed very needy in that moment. Yeah. Like, looking for his approval. Yep. 
Well, she has survivor's guilt, and you can have survivor's guilt without having been sick, having survivor's guilt, you know, and she's not dealing with it because we're still ignoring the fact that the kid needs therapy. Why would we put her in therapy? I wonder if we'll put her in therapy once Carly has the baby, if the baby's super high needs. I don't know, but how about Carly not telling Bobby about that yet? That was crazy. I thought that whenever Jocelyn found the paper about Dev's boarding school, uh-huh. that she was going to pull the rest of the papers and find that out, too. I didn't even think about that. Because it, it was like a stash. Yeah. That she, so she could have very easily been like, oh, what have they been? Exactly. Like, are they researching five oh. other schools? And to pull that folder off the top, and there was the information about the baby. I thought that she was going to have a positive reaction to the boarding school and be like, oh, good, I can get out of here, thinking that it was for her. Mm. I didn't even think about the folder. Yeah. Uh, I hope she doesn't find out that way. That would no, be sad. That'd be horrible. Yeah. Oh, Peter being shady. Yeah. I was I'm very I am, disappointed. I'm so mad. I'm, I'm right there with you. I mean, it's – I was pulling for him. Yeah. You know, and I mean – Maxie is defending him to Jason, and now she's going to be. And when's this going to come out? They're going to end up. Spinelli's back. Oh, I know. I was so happy when I saw him. That was a good one. Mr. Bradford Anderson just turned 40 over the weekend, too. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. (laughs) But, yeah, I don't know. I'm just, I'm very disappointed. Do you think that it's going to be Spinelli that finds all the information out? Because he was asking about doing a dinner date next time they're all together in the same Yeah, he mentioned Ellie, which means she's still around. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I feel like it's obvious that Spinelli would find out that information. True. Because he finds out everything. Mm-hmm. So who's going to find out? Mm. Hmm. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. I think Shiloh is just hijacking Bobby for the car. He's not going to actually hurt her. No? I don't think so. I think he's carjacking, not hijacking. I knew what you meant. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't see him adding. Hurting her is not going to do anything. For yeah. Him. So why would you bother? Who said prison or hell but rot somewhere? I didn't write it down. Um, I think it was Peter to Shiloh. Maybe. I don't know. I didn't write that down. That was a good one. That is a good one. I like that. Or was it Valentine? I don't remember that line. I missed it. Somebody said it on Friday, and I really liked it. I Hence doing, why I wrote it down and forgot to say who it I was. I was doing laundry through Friday, which I know we say we shouldn't do. So my Friday notes aren't as great as the rest of the week. I didn't really take a lot on Friday. Oh, okay. I think I only took two or three. Okay. Um, I just said that Valentine may be evil, but he really takes care of his women. Well, there you go. He does. I mean. Yeah. You can't argue that. How could he have not foreseen all of this happening with Sasha, though? Seriously. Because he's a man and he's just dumb. Yeah. They're very short-sighted. Whatever he needed to do to get what he wanted. And again, it came from a good place because Nina wanted a daughter so badly. So he gave her one. But as a woman, you think through the 400 other steps that are going to come after this and know it's going to blow up in your face. Like maybe they want to check that out sometime. Exactly. Even just simple, oh, you're at the doctor and we're running a blood test somewhere. Mm -hmm. If you don't have Brad in your pocket at every second, (laughs) eventually there's going to be a blood test that pops up that shows there's no relation. Yep. I'm really surprised it didn't happen with this whole avian flu thing. I know. I thought for sure that was how it was going to come out. But Liesl's really trying to protect her from that she is. coming out. So when's the wedding? Because it was supposed to be September, remember? Mm-hmm. I mean, we're getting close here now. You have a couple more days, maybe. Yeah. Seven. Yes. Six. Good according math. According to the calendar. <laughs> according to the GH calendar. Right. Maybe it'll be Friday's episode. That would be exciting. Do you think Maxie's going to leave Crimson? I hope so. All these stories really go together this week. They do. I do, too. I hope that she does. I really liked her idea of Thursday meeting day. Mm-hmm. I, she, she has proven herself over and over and over again. Yep. I don't understand how she's not higher up already. It really is like she's just an assistant. 
Well, it's like she said, though. I mean, she has had a crazy couple years, you know, with becoming, like, she got married and James and then losing Nathan. And I mean, what, that's been three or four years? Yeah. The past three or four years. She's had a lot of, Crimson's always been her constant. Mm-hmm. So, you know, when stuff's crazy like that, you don't want to go. I mean, I understand why she hasn't tried to leave yet, but at the same time, she's done awesome work through all of those Mm -hmm. life events. Yeah. She's obviously qualified for more than just sitting behind a desk. It's probably easy for her to pour herself into it when she's used to it as an escape rather than trying to figure out something new. I mean, that's like second nature to her. She could pretty much do that. Oh, in her sleep. Yeah. No I do about. love the idea for her magazine, though. Yeah. So what would the name of it be? That's a good question. I know. And would she make Lulu come right for her? I hope not. <laughs> Maybe she can get Molly to write for her. Mm. That would be good. Whatever happened to her piece on the Cassidines? No idea. Molly's still writing it. I haven't seen her in a while. No. She's she's writing her piece on the Cassidines. Very busy. Very. Well, school's back in session and everything now, so. True. She should be done soon, though. Yeah. We'll have to do the kid, those kids, too. Yeah. We really jumped all over the place with our we did. family trees. Sorry about that. <clears throat> we said we were going to take a break and then come back into the Spencers, and we never did. Then we got pulled into explaining all the kid. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It, things just take us where they take us. Exactly. We have 56 years to cover. I think we're okay. Right. Oh, speaking of... Last Thursday was our 50th episode, and we totally forgot. We did. So, happy 50th anniversary, Amanda. Happy 50th to you. My voice is coming back. See? You're so excited. It is. It's because I'm drinking (laughs) a lot of tea and water, too, though. The only thing I have left was when Drew and Cam were talking. Okay. I really liked that Franco asked him, can you tell me about the man you think I am? I thought that was really kind of him. And I feel like it could possibly have something going in his head. Like, do I really want to do this to them? That would be good. But I feel I know, like he's, I, he's I, I agree. But I also feel like he may have given Cam peace of mind that, okay, at least he knew it all. Right. And so I can just hate him because he knew it all and chose to not give us Franco back. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, there was nothing left unsaid. Right. You know, there was nothing. When I was going to be in the mental hospital, so. Yeah. Yeah. I had plenty of time to reflect on all the information he's gained from everyone. I wonder what Kim's going to do about it. Oh, she's going to flip. She was very unhappy. I wonder if she's going to be able to reverse it or something. Franco said to Kim in the apartment, hell didn't win, Kim. We did. I like that. Aw. So romantic. I am. (laughs) So the last thing I have is Shiloh's trial. Yeah, I thought that was really interesting that they brought up Sam's past Mm -hmm. because it is the truth. She did go there under false pretenses. Yeah. It kind of does make a lot of what happened inadmissible. It doesn't prove their point. She put herself in the position to Mm -hmm. she does not deserve what happened. No, I know. I know that's not what you're saying, but I think. That even though she put herself in the position, the way everything played out proves that he was a bad guy. Right, right. So I don't know how you're going to fight that. Because he moved her and... Yeah. Yeah. If it was just her testimony with no one else's, okay, right. you could dismiss it and say she's just out to her revenge or whatever. Mm-hmm. But with all of the rest of that, Willow and Christina and that other chick from... The server. Yeah, what was her name? I'm glad you knew what I was trying to say. I don't remember her name, but I know what you're talking about. Yeah. From Beecher's Corners. What's her name? Don't remember. Oh, well. Because it's really not going to speak to his favor that he's escaping if he really wants his son. Right. Oh, do you think he's going to go kidnap Wiley? Oh, that's a possibility. Can't we have one kid not get kidnapped? No. James has not been kidnapped. I love whenever we're reading the information about the kids and it's like kidnapped (laughs) again. Again. (laughs) So this will just be the first of many, I'm sure, if that's what happens to Wiley. 
Was Rocco kidnapped? Oh, yeah, kind of. Well, no. I was thinking... I mean, technically, it was kidnapping the embryo. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. Yeah. I love that we're so in sync with that. <laughs> so he was kidnapped in utero. Right. Did you have anything else? No, nope, I didn't. Really it. Yeah. It was, it was short, was, sweet, and to the point this yeah, week, guys. It was a good, good week. It was a really good week. Yeah. But everything kind of played itself the way it should have. There's yeah. not much to speculate on right now. Yes, 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 yes. All right. So it's your favorite time. Do, do, do. Reality check. What was this week? Oh, Madeline was starfish of the week instead of like star student. Starfish of the week because their whole room is done in an undersea theme. Oh my goodness. For first grade. So she got to fill out a sheet all about herself and take in pictures of everybody and... One day she got to bring in something for, like, show and tell. Another day was bring in your favorite book. What's her favorite book? Um, so, yeah, I was, like, all geeked out because her favorite books are the Bernstein Bear books, which were my favorite when Aww. I was little. And then it said on the sheet about, you know, filling out her own stuff, favorite color, blah, blah, blah. It said someone that you admire. And she wrote mom. Aww. So, <laughs> it was adorable. and That's the best. It is. That's it was so sweet. I love it. Love it, love it. That's so cute. What about the other kids? Well, other kids. I'm trying to push Megan into doing something. She was on the rifle team, or she did rifle, and mm -hmm. then she's kind of lost interest in it. So I keep trying to push her, like I've said a million times, I'm not a sports mom, mm -hmm. so I don't know how to do that. But she's still young enough that if she gets involved in something now, she could do it through yeah. high school and all that. But she needs now. Right. And so I'm like, what do you want to do? Well, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. I think we're going to try volleyball. But we'll see. I could see her doing that. I think she'd like it. A lot of my friends growing up were big into volleyball. So yeah. I'm totally going to reach out to them and be like, hey, help me decide Get my kid into volleyball. where I'm putting her, who can help her. Because God right. knows I can't teach her anything. But I feel like it's a good sport. And then Emily's still on the homecoming kick because that's in two weeks. So. Cool. You know how teenage girls are. That's all that matters. So, yeah, that's that. How about you? <coughs> Other than almost dying this weekend, <laughs> um, it was a pretty, just a crazy week. It's so, I do a lot of networking, but it kind of tapers off during the summer just mm -hmm. because actually one of my groups doesn't even meet during the summer. Another one that I go to, I missed July and August. And this week, two of them are in the same week. Oh, geez. And so um, my mentor was on vacation this week, and I covered some stuff for her. So I mean, not a lot, but it just really meant a lot to me that she trusted me. Because you're awesome. To do that. Thank you. And yesterday, the family. So yesterday, I had Bible study first thing in the morning, came home, took a nap. Then we went to Phipps Conservatory and saw the Vincent Van Gogh display oh fun that they have all of well not all of because he has a ton of them but some of um vincent van gogh's paintings but they made them out of the flowers That's and the different plants and everything it was so cool because each room is a different painting oh, so awesome. i mean and this is if you're not from pittsburgh phipps conservatory is like a huge it's a conservatory. It's, you know, it has there's it a bunch amazing. of different rooms that are all different. There's a desert room. There's the butterfly room. There's this, that, and the other thing. And it was just, it was gorgeous. So, um, that was fun. But really, I'm just finding a cold that you didn't get. But I didn't get somehow left at my house. So I didn't even touch any of your stuff. I know. my fault. I know. Not taking responsibility. No, nope. no, nope, but it was funny when I texted you and I was like, so did you ever get that cold? You're like, no, I'm like, I did. And, and I, I don't just, really get sick. So, like, that's the thing is that yeah. when I do, I am out. No, mine just hung on all week. Like, I still have a cough and don't feel right. Mm -hmm. But I never got to that where I need to sleep all day yeah. or anything like that. So, I don't know if that's good or bad. I feel like I would have preferred just to be on my butt for an entire day and then been fine instead of this constant, ugh. Yeah. Yeah, I like the idea of being down for a day and a half, maybe two days. I lucked out that it was the weekend because yes. my 
daughter's birthday is Tuesday and her party's tomorrow night. I do not have any options other than for this thing to be gone tomorrow morning. Yes. So sorry. But well, yeah, I think that's it for reality check and I think so. recap. And on Thursday, we are going to be talking about little Aiden Spencer. Yes. And all the stuff that he's been up to in his short nine years. Wrapping up the Spencer boys. Yep. Well, ish, Spencer, whatever. We're wrapping up Liz's kids. There you go. All All right. right. So have a good week. And we'll meet you at the pier. Bye. Bye. If you enjoyed today's show, we invite you to go to pier54podcast.com to subscribe on your favorite platform. Don't forget to leave us a review. And you can also follow us on many social media channels. Just search for Pier 54 Podcast. Also, we are not perfect. So if there is something that we missed or messed up, just let us know by emailing us at peer54podcast at gmail.com.